Hi, these comments are for MJ and I am Michael from BetterTofelScores.com. Thank you for sending me your writing practice. You want a free TOEFL writing evaluation. That's what I'm going to do right now. So I have the rubrics here and we have your essay. Let's look at the question. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? People learn things better than those at their own level, such as fellow students or co-workers, than those at a higher level, such as supervisors or teachers. Okay, so uh, I read the essay, and I think you are in pretty good shape. I'm going to show you a couple of things I like about it. Okay, so in Microsoft Word, check this out. So I'm using the editor here, and I, I did a grammar check of it, and look at this. Sentences... Uh, words per paragraph, we have uh, words per sentence, we have 41. Wow. So we have our characters per words a little bit lower at 4.2, but definitely you do not have a choppy sentence style. Your grade level consequently is 12. So you're, I think Microsoft Word likes it. The grammar check likes how you did it. Now, of course, a human like me needs to read it, but I think the e-rater will also like how you structured your sentences. My main suggestion is to improve your vocabulary. I think some higher level vocabulary will help increase your overall grade level of the writing. Uh, I think that the score right... <coughs> I'm going to put you at <coughs> 25 to 27 points. That, that's, that is my uh, estimation right now. So I like the introduction. You actually have a thesis here. Your thesis incorporates the key points of the body paragraphs. I really like how you develop each of your paragraphs with a more specific example. In this case, you used uh, 95 words on your first example. To me, that's a lot of depth and complexity of thought. You did a similar thing here. You have uh, 109 words on this example and even in here you're saying and had my friend which means if my friend had listened he would not have gotten lower grades. So you're using in this case the past perfect tense to talk about a past impossible reality so this is telling me you have great control over your grammar and your sentence structure. The only thing that, that I didn't like is in the first paragraph, you got a little bit, you had some what I call pronoun agreement shifts, or no, point of view shifts, sorry. Let me just, I'll just edit this. People disagree and the best way to learn something is some say that learning from people, you want to change this to their level is the best way to learn, but others say, Learning from people who are above them is the best way. So you have to be careful about your point of view. Make sure you're not randomly shifting. In this case, you randomly shifted from the third person to the second person point of view. You definitely don't want to do that. But, but even that is a lot of us, we speak like this, and that's probably why you did this. But you have great control over your grammar. I like your use of the semicolon. You use that several times throughout your essay to join those closely related independent clauses. So overall, when I look at the actual rubrics here, it, it's got to be between the four and the five area. The only thing that's not really in the five area is you have... You have some noticeable minor errors in structure, sentence structure, point of view shifts, for example. It's just minor things, but it doesn't interfere in your meaning at all. So that's why I'm putting you at 25 to 27 points. All right, so if you have any other questions, you'll notice right below my name, I have some office hours. You can come by and talk. Uh, I believe, and I wouldn't say this about anybody, but I really think that you can score between 29 and 30 points on the writing section. I think that is entirely possible. Maybe you already did. But uh, if you want to get that high score, you haven't achieved that score yet, I think uh, I'm going to make a recommendation here. 
and not all students qualify for this, but I, if you're interested, I have a TOEFL writing boot camp course, which is a good fit for you because your writing skills are so advanced. So if you're looking to get a perfect writing score, consider using my TOEFL writing boot camp course. You can find out more about it by going to onlinetoeflcourse.com and just scroll to the bottom of, of the web page to find the course. And thank you for submitting this. And this is your free writing practice test evaluation.